What's up guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the top stocks and penny stocks. I'm going to go over the major companies that reported earnings today. Mainly, I'm going to go over Tesla stock earnings. I'm also going to be going over exactly what happened in the stock market today. We're going to be talking about vaccine stocks and also a few penny stocks that you guys requested that I make a video about. I'm going to go over all this information in detail about these penny stocks. I'm also going to talk about exactly what could potentially affect the stock market for tomorrow. There's going to be major economic reports coming out. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out exactly what this reports are, guys. So now let's get right into the video. If you like the video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have any comments or any questions, make sure you drop it in the comment section below, guys. So major moves happen in Tesla stock after a reported earnings. It had a huge surprise and they were able to make a profit. So Tesla stock rose 1.52% and it earned 104 million or 50 cents a share in the quarter, comparing it to last year where they actually lost $408 million or 2.31. So that is a huge difference. So the company has come a long way, but they actually have the requirement right now to join the S&P 500. So adjusted for one time items, Tesla earned 2.18 a share swinging from an adjusted loss of 1.12 a share a year ago. So, and the investors that got involved in it at those early stages are really seeing the rewards right now. So another important thing that we need to pay attention to now is Tesla beat four consecutive quarters. So they have the opportunity to join the S&P 500. So we'll see what's going to happen with the next few weeks and next few months if they're going to be able to join the S&P 500. They also announced an important news during the earnings calls. They say they chose Austin, Texas to build a $1 billion factory. So they're going to be building the Cybertruck and also the Model Y over there. They chose that specific county, that specific state, that specific city, mainly because of they had an opportunity to get a tax break. One of the other states that were competing with Texas was Oklahoma. So Texas was able to actually track Tesla to build the factory in their county, which is southeastern Travis County. So they're that so that county is now going to have the opportunity to get five thousand jobs. And that is really, really good when you look at it, specifically when that company is going to build a huge factory, the economy is going to boom within that short area, the city and for the state in general. So the other important thing that we need to also look at is going to be the other electric vehicle companies that are actually coming up right now, like going like Helion, we got Nikola, we got all the penny stock electric vehicle companies they are going to be able to get motivated and get inspired. An important news that affected the stock market today was that Pfizer and Biotech gained US funding for the COVID-19 vaccine doses. So that is really huge. Even though they're still on the process of getting approved by the FDA, they got 1.9 billion from the United States government to produce at least 100 million doses of their experimental COVID-19 vaccine. So that is fantastic if you specifically invested in these two companies they gapped up significantly higher due to this news but the other companies also have deals with the united states government so we got moderna which is ticker symbol mrna which is up 2.92 percent and also we have azn which is an England company, which is located in Europe, it's actually down minus 1.87%. But these companies also made a deal with the United States government. So that is really important to keep, to keep an eye on because these other companies, the other penny stocks that we usually talk about that are associated with vaccines, they might actually announce that they made a deal with the US government. So the other companies that you guys mentioned that I cover on the previous video was you guys wanted to talk about which is a penny stock these also released a press release associated with covid19 so the stock actually had a pretty good two three day continuation move to the upside but it could not hold the area that it kind of, it kind of broke out of so it pulled back to a dollar and 30 cents 
So if you believe there's going to be a potential move that could happen, a potential press release that can come out in the future, this stock can definitely move up to the upside. So now it's in a good opportunity if it can hold above the area that it broke out of, if it can stay above the $1 area for a while and just consolidates, then there can be a potential second leg move to the upside coming. So this is also one of the companies to keep an eye on. The other company that you guys mentioned in the comment section below of my previous video was to talk about IBIO. I covered this company on another video and it broke out of you know the $4 area and it hit $7.50, pulled back to $5. So if it can stay, if it can hold the $5 support area, that is fantastic. You know, let's see if what, what's gonna happen in the next few days. The other penny stock that you guys want me to talk about was ticker symbol OPK. This is also in a healthcare sector as a diagnostic and research company. They are actually the company that is going to be testing the NFL, so they made a deal. That's kind of like the news that kind of made the stock to be on the hot spot and get a lot of attention. And the stock broke out beautifully. We talked about it a few videos ago about this company when it was breaking out. Now it's pulling back a little bit. As I mentioned, we'll see exactly if it's, it's going to pull back and hold some of the gains that have made because this is kind of a legitimate company when you look at it compared to other penny stocks that have low floats and they can be easily manipulated. But this is a huge company, as you can see over here, which has 640 million shares available and also institution ownership is 25%. And there's been a lot of insider transactions, which is 171.97%. So that is really huge. And insider ownership is 0.5% of this huge shares. And there's a lot of short sellers that are betting the stock is going to go down. So 32.12% of these shares are held by short sellers. So they're getting squeezed right now. So we'll just keep an eye on it. If there's going to be a continuation that can happen within the next few weeks, few months, if they can introduce their tests to different institutions and to different major, major sport leagues. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on OPK stock guys. So the other company that we're going to be talking about is as a penny stock. And you guys mentioned it on the comment section yesterday. The other penny stock that we're going to be talking about is going to be ticker symbol BNGO. Now this company have major news that made it to spike up within the past three to four days. So this is also a healthcare company. It's a diagnostics and research company. And as you can see over here, it had a two, three, four days to go to the upside and the volume is increasing significantly. The average volume that it had for this company is usually 15 million shares but it's trading 142 million shares. So that there's a lot of people buying and selling this company. And as you can see, there's not a lot of institution ownership and insider ownership is 10.41%. Let's see if there's gonna be continuation. If it stays above the area that it broke out of, there can definitely be a leg up. As you can see in the past, the stock can definitely have major, major moves to the upside. It can one time it went up to four dollars and fifty cents. Right now, it's trading. The volume is coming up significantly. If it can continue to stay up and hold the area that it broke out of around the eighty cents area, and if it can break out of the one dollar area and stay above that, we can have we can use the dollar area as a support for a potential continuation within the next few days, within the next few weeks, guys. So keep an eye on this company, guys. Now let's look at what happened in the stock market today. As you can see over here, we got Amazon that's still continuing going to the downside. We got Facebook, we got Google, we got Netflix. So the NASDAQ is actually not moving that much. It's not doing a lot of lifting the stock market to the upside just like it was doing with the past few weeks. But the major sectors that moved to the upside today was financials was going up and also the real estate, the REITs. We talked about an important economic report that was coming out yesterday at 10 a.m. So the existing home sales was good. So that's why the real estate sector had really positive day today. We also had Pfizer with that major news that we just talked about. We also have a continuation move to the upside from Coca-Cola that reported earnings. So the energy sector was the one that we talked about yesterday that had major move to the upside because of oil prices. However, today it significantly pulled back to the downside guys. So now let's move on. Let's look at exactly what companies are going to be reporting earnings for tomorrow. We got Twitter reporting earnings before market open, pre-market, AT&T, Southwest, after market close, we got Intel. So these are the main companies that I'm going to be looking at. Also, 
Let's move on to see exactly what are the major economic reports that's going to affect the stock market tomorrow, guys. So Thursday, July 23rd at 8.30 a.m., we got the initial jobless claims numbers. This is going to be for July 18. The previous month was 1.3 million. The forecast is 1.41. And also at 8.30 a.m., we got the continuous jobless, jobless claims. This is for regular state program. This is going to be for the period of July. The previous was 17.3 million. And also at 8.30 a.m., we got the continuing jobless claims for federal and state NSA. This is going to be for July 4. The previous was 32 million. Also at 10 a.m., we got the leading economic indicators. It's going to be for the period of June. The previous was 2.8%. So keep an eye on these important economic reports because they can definitely swing the markets either to the upside or to the downside that's going to be another video guys if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe if you have any questions or any comments make sure you drop in the comment section below and make sure you smash the like button guys but i'll catch you guys on another video tomorrow have a wonderful day